Joe back at you guys with another video and as you can tell by the thumbnail man I have a question for you guys are we too hard on Mark Davis um, me personally I think that I'm too hard on him and I think a lot of us are because of the success of Al Davis um, and I think we do the, you know, I think we do that as far as look at Al Davis's success and compare it to Mark Davis. I think we do that a lot with athletes, musicians, a lot of people, man. And um, I'm not caping for Mark Davis. I'm not saying that Mark Davis shouldn't be held accountable for certain things. But what I am saying is try to look at the brighter side try to look at some of the positives I know that in the grand scheme of things outside of two seasons since 2011 the Raiders have made the playoffs twice and they've basically been trash uh, you know outside of those two seasons now with the new coaching situation underway you know, I'm assuming it's going to be AP. I would venture to say, man, that in this era of Raider football under Mark Davis's watch, this could actually be the year that we may be able to ease up on him a bit, right? I'm not saying they're going to go, out, you know, go in the Super Bowl or anything like that, but I think he might get it right with the hiring and just getting the guy that these players want that's definitely a positive the other positives i will say is this when you look at that stadium man that is an actual home for raider football right la had the raiders but they also had the usc trojans Right? They had to share that stadium with the USC football team. Oakland, I loved it, man. I, there was many games there. I had a lot of fun. And there, there's no duplicating that. There, and there'll probably never, ever be a stadium like that or an atmosphere like that. But it technically was not the sole home of the Raiders because they had to share it with the A's, right? So when you look at that stadium, man, and what he what he was able to accomplish with that, that is remarkable as well. And even to just bring up like a couple of the things that he did when he first got the ownership, you know, when he when he came into that role, um, I think two years into it, man, he hired on Reggie McKenzie. Reggie McKenzie basically cleaned house and got rid of a lot of the old contracts that the Raiders were paying on. I mean, I think they were still paying on Jamarcus. I think they were still paying guys like D'Angelo Hall, who hadn't even been on the fucking team in like five years. So there are some things financially, man, that he has done for the team that I don't know. Rest in peace. I don't know if Al Davis would have done those things because towards the end of his life unfortunately he was too proud and too just stubborn for a lack of a better term to give up the decisions and the totality of you know just making those decisions to somebody else and you know i don't know what the conversations were like i don't know what mark davis's childhood was like who knows if Al Davis offered him the game and Mark as a kid or as a teenager or as a young guy said, nah, I'm good. I don't, I don't want to learn football. And then now he's, you know, making decisions based on just what he, what he thinks or what he feels. But regardless of, of any of that, obviously I wasn't there. I don't know. But what we have now, man, is an owner that is trying to do the right thing i think he's now putting you know he's got tom brady involved and all these people so 
he's at least trying to make the right decisions for this organization and he's putting people in power to make those decisions for him because I think he knows he can't, right? So just based on that, man, like we got to give him a little bit of credit, right? After everything I just named off. But again, this is not me saying that Mark Davis should not be held accountable for some of the things based on ignorance or whatever, right? That's, I'm not making excuses for him because um, ignorance would be a dumb excuse, right? But again, those are just some things to think about. And again, it, it is a question, man. So the, the chat is open, the comments are open. Let me know what you guys think. Should he sell the team eventually? Um, should he give, you know, uh, most of the ownership to somebody else and him just kind of take the back seat? That's kind of, you know, in a way, it's kind of what he's doing now. I mean, I don't really know what goes on 100% in, in the front office, but, you know, like I said, man, he's, he's definitely in my opinion he's better than some owners in that he really you know he can't follow his dad's footsteps but he really tries to make the alumni thing you know carry on you know what i mean he's never turned away alumni he still has alumni coming in here um he's still carrying that raider tradition of not retiring numbers it's all about you know making the leg you know the legacy of those of those numbers last you know on to the next guy so a lot of those things man are like al davis i'm not saying he's like exactly like his dad because his dad was you know he was ahead of his time man he was a he likes to say he was a maverick he definitely was a maverick but uh mark davis is definitely not like him but he's like him in some ways and again, if you think about it like this, man, with some of the decisions that were made by Al Davis the last few years he was alive, even going back to that 02 year where he traded John Gruden, I think for a draft pick or whatever, like I'm glad some of those things are not being done by Mark Davis. You know what I mean? And again, that's no disrespect to Al Davis. Rest in peace to him. But he just made decisions, I think, sometimes based on you know, maybe impulse or feeling or whatever the case may be. So it's a good thing that he's not 100% or, you know, identical to his dad. So I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, just something fun to think about. Just a question. If you guys do not like Mark Davis whatsoever, let it be known, man, because I'm open to I'm open to any opinion and any uh, any, you know, whatever you feel. You know what I mean? I'm open to all opinions and all uh, points. So with that being said, go Raiders. Hopefully Mark Davis does the right thing and uh, hires AP very soon, man. We'll, we'll, we'll keep in touch, man. We'll see what's going on. Keep an eye on it. Peace. All right.